the boat builder here visiting with you we're talking about different parts of the rigging and, and, and the Mackinac boat today it's a beautiful day up north in Michigan we're in a beautiful little community very quaint charming old fishing village called Ponchelang and it's just a real privilege to live here we're building this boat just up the hill from Wrighty Marine and Wayne Blomberg is the owner proprietor of Wrighty Marine is uh, about a third generation marina very historic very old right here on Crooked Lake and uh, Wayne's been a great help to the project uh, I told him this morning I would have not been able to do this 30 foot historic Mackinac boat without the use of the facilities oh he's got all kinds of equipment down there that I've had the honor and privilege to make use of and just his guidance, his help, he's an enthusiast of, of boating and historic projects. Uh, most recently, they completed a riverboat, a replica of a riverboat for the Inland Waterways in Alanson, Michigan, just up the street from us, about a mile away. And so you folks ever come up this way, make sure to stop into cute little river town of Alanson. Maybe go for a riverboat cruise. Anyway. Uh, what I'm looking at here with you today are some of the components of the rig. This is a gaff rig boat, meaning the gaffs were what were the top of the sails to help get the sails up in place. It's an old traditional way, but very efficient um, means of holding the sails. This is the boom. This is the bottom part of the sail, holds the sail out and in place. And if you notice a little bit about the boom, I uh, can't think, I think I cut this spruce tree down right here in Pontchartrain. And it's made of spruce, it's quite light, it's very durable. This uh, about 14 feet long. And it's tapered down, basically the same taper as the tree. So it's just need a little bit of honing, draw knifing, sanding, varnishing. And this is what we call the boom crotch and boom jaws. Picture that, pretty easy. Uh, and it fits right into the side of the mass. And it'll have a couple other components around it that you'll see later. But very simple, very easy to build, and very nice to look at. This for hundreds of years, this is old traditional ways of boats sailed with the rigging. That's the boom. Here's a gaff, it's a smaller component fits up top kind of about this angle right here again the boom jaws the boom crotch but it's a gaff gaff jaws gaff crotch and the sail will lace to this be held on and hopefully you'll see it under sail we plan to launch Monday next week and hopefully by Wednesday we're under sail so you get to come back and see all this out on the water um, I think that pretty much covers just a little bit about a lot of this stuff may not make sense to you what I'm explaining right now because it's parts and components but once you see it on the fully rigged vessel it'll be oh I remember when he was explaining that now I know the whole picture comes together so again thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos about the historic Mackinac boat Hey, welcome back. Bob the Boat Builder here. Uh, we're in beautiful Ponchoang, Michigan. And for those of you that do not know where Ponchoang is, it's just north of Petoskey in the northern tip of lower Michigan. Um, Ponchoang is a Native American term. It means winter gathering. It's a beautiful spot here. Big, tall, mature white pines. It's right on the water, flowing wells. The tribes would congregate here uh, for protection and fresh water and weather out the winter months. So we're in lovely Ponchoway and we're just finishing up on a very exciting project called a Mackinac boat. And what I'm going to be explaining to you today is the centerboard. What is a centerboard? Well, centerboard is 
something that fits down through the boat to keep it sailing uh, in on course, keeps it from sliding sideways as the sails are pushing it that way, and causes the energy to allow the boat to go in the direction that you're steering it or pointing it. So uh, just a little bit about this centerboard. A lot of centerboards are made of wood and old traditional boats. We chose to use steel. And the reason we chose that is it's very durable, uh, allows us to make a thinner slot through the keel, and gives us some much needed weight or ballast down low and allows the boat to perform a little bit, bit better and I'll hopefully make it a little safer. Some of the components on uh, centerboard here, this will fit right inside of a centerboard trunk, which you'll see in a later video. And there's some essential ingredients. One, centerboard's got a pivot. It's got to be able to swing up in case you get into shallow water or, or you're moving it, transporting it, and it's got to swing down. And so we have a pivot pin. And this will be going right through the keel in the bottom of the boat and holding this on so it can pivot. This we just use some threaded stainless steel rod that we had around three quarters of an inch and it'll work great. Another critical part is how do you lift it? This board piece of steel weighs approximately 200 pounds. So what we'll be fitting on with a shackle, uh, our pulley system, to raise and lower the center. Why are you using pulleys? Well, we're hoping to reduce some of the weight. Most people aren't strong enough to lift 200 pounds, and it will be fatiguing, and it'll be much easier to manage by using pulleys. So we'll have a line that runs through, wrapping up through, and coming out the top of the centerboard trunk. So we'll be lifting the centerboard with that. Another thing we'll be doing is once the board is lifted up, we'll have a hole going through the side of the center board trunk, and it'll be able to go right through the center board and stay in place when it's in upright position. That takes all the pressure off the lines, keeps them from wearing and so on, and you can rest assured that even if you left the boat for an extended period of time and maybe an otter or something got in the water, somehow was able to gnaw on a line, uh, the board wouldn't uh, fall down. And one more thing that we're going to be doing to this center board is we've got to lift it in place. Hopefully, see today's Friday, hopefully by Monday we go on the water. So we put these little shackles on for lifting eyes and we'll use the chain hoist right down the road here at Righty Marine and lift this up, be able to drop it right down in the center board trunk and fasten it in properly and it'll be a whole lot easier than trying to manhandle it. So that's our center board, and we look forward to talking to you again shortly. Thank you.